Hello there, I'm Yvonne Silvis, and I'm going to try one final time today to go back there and show you guys how to do meridian tracings. Let me start over though. I'm Yvonne DeSellis and you are on my channel today, Why Energy. Welcome, welcome. If you are new, I welcome you with open arms, and if you are not new, I love you guys for coming back and watching my channel. Thank you, thank you. Again, I'm going to go back there and try to do some meridian tracings, and if you can't hear me, please know I'm going to try to turn captions on as soon as I can. I'm also going to occasionally be running to the computer to wake it up, because even when I'm recording, the display goes dark, and then it goes to sleep, and then it stops recording, and I don't know why it does that. This is my new MacBook, and I honestly don't know why it tries to shut itself off while I'm in the middle of recording something, but I'm going to give this a try. As far as people who want to know what the heck meridians are, they are energy pathways. I think of them as blood vessels, kind of, um, but it's an energy body thing. And this is just something that will make you feel good. Um, if you're feeling kind of out of it and you can't put your finger on what's going on, you can go from your shoulder to your hip and then shake it off and go to the other side, or shoulder to hip, shake it off. But if that doesn't help, then meridian tracing probably will. You don't have to do all of the tracings, you can do whichever ones you like, but I just want to show you all of them. I believe there's 14 in total. It's all one long thing. You can get Meridian dolls that have all the lines on them, so when I say something, for example, like hit your K27 points, these, these are on kidney meridian position 27, and you will see what I mean when we get to the kidney meridian. But again, as I said before, please know that I will caption this. I'm going to lower this because I'm going to need you to see full body. And again, I'm going to go back there, and if I come running up, it's just to wake the computer up before it has a chance to fall asleep. So, here we go. I will try to be as audible as I can, but I can't guarantee. And I'm going to ignore my phone for now. The first one is central. You start at the pubic bone, and just go all the way up, over your chin, and make a locking motion when you get to the edges of your lips. Next one is governor. Start at the base of the spine, go up, come around. Start here, and go around over to the other side, and off the nose. So that was central and the governing. Next one is spleen, so you're going to have to start at your big toes. I shouldn't have shoes on for this, but you're going to start at your big toe, and you're going to just go up, all the way up, come out to the sides, right underneath your, the center of your pecs, and then go, and I'm going to have to turn this, bring this up a little bit. Up to the center of the pecs and then come around to the side, go up a little ways on the arm and then come back down and off the rib cage. Next one is, so that was spleen, next one is heart, so start under your arm, go out and off the pinky finger, other side out and off the pinky finger. Next one, after that we just went off the pinky finger, so you're going to go back to the pinky and this one is small intestine, so go up, go down a bit on the scapula around to the cheek and out through the ear. Same thing on the other side, pinky, up the arm, down on the scapula, back up to the neck, to the cheek and out through the ear. So that was small intestine. Next one is bladder, start at the forehead. So basically you start right where the third eye is, sorry that the hat's in the way, but start at the forehead, go up, back, and down, and then you're come back here. Kind of a little jag, and then go underneath your glutes, and then you're going to start back over here, back here, and then you're going to come down, and this time you're going to go down the sides, off the sides of your legs, go all the way up, oops, I'm trying really hard not to trip, I'm going to have to lower this again, sorry, I know this one's kind of a confusing one, the back, but the latter one is very confusing, I'm trying to go from hard back and up, go down the sides, go off the fourth toe, the toe right next to your pinky toe. The next one I'm going to have to show you, because where you're starting off, I think this is called the river of life, you're going to start off right here. So basically on your foot, right at the center. So what you're going to do on both sides, for this one, this is kidney meridian. So remember I said kidney meridian, position 27. So you start under the foot, go off the sides of the legs, Go in between the legs and just stay in between. Go up, keep your fingers at the center, go to your K27 points. Again, kidney, position 27, and buzz them or tap them or massage them. 
next one from here is pericardium. Pericardium, sorry. Um, I believe Don Eden calls this circulation sex. I like I like to say pericardium. So that one is from nip to tip. So you start at the nipple, go up the side of the arm and off the middle finger. Start at the nip, go up all the way to the middle finger. Next one is triple warm-up. So this you start on the ring finger, you go up to the back of the arms, all the way up. The computer's falling asleep already. Up all the way, go up your neck, up and over your ear, and out to the edge of your eyebrow. Other side, ring finger, up the back of the arm, all the way, up the back of the neck, up and over the ear, and once again, out to the outer edge of the eyebrow. So that was tr the famous triple warmer meridian. It's not just a meridian, it's an entire energy center, but that was triple warmer. Next one is gallbladder. So we're starting at the outer edge on the eyebrow, go down on both sides, loop around, down again. This is a really, really confusing one. So you're gonna go out by the nipples, back out, down, in at the hips, back out. And then I'm going to once again try not to fall or bunk into anything. So you're going to go all the way down. And this one, I believe, is off the fourth toe once again. And you just stay down here, start on the toes, come up once again, in between the legs, come all the way up. Once you get to the pubic bone, you're going to go out to the sides. And then go out this way. That's liver. Okay, so that was liver. Next one is lung over the shoulder and through the thumb. Lung over the shoulder and through the thumb. So okay, that was liver, that was lung. It gets, it, it's hard to keep track of all of these, to be honest with you, so then that was lung. The next to the last one is large intestine. So you start on the index finger and you come all the way up, 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 in and out of the flare of the nose. Other side, index finger up 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 in towards the center of the nose and then out towards the flare that's large intestine and the very last one is the stomach meridian oh this does get very exhausting so stomach meridian you can start by just tapping those cheekbones and then go up down sorry down and then back up and then once again out of the chest in out of the hips and then down the center of the legs and go all the way off your middle toe or the toe next to your big toe and off. And Donna said she likes to end this by doing some tracing going up. I think it's always good to just do the central again. So again, you just bring your fingers and your hands together at the pubic bone. Go up, all the way up, up over the chin. And once again, make the locking motion at the very ends of your mouth. And that's it. That's the meridian tracing. I really hope that was helpful. I hope you didn't need it. But if you did do that, I hope you liked it. I hope it helped you. And if it did, please share it. And let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I will be back here in about a week. Thank you so much once again for your attention. I really, really appreciate having you here. And once again, I got re-monetized a couple days ago. Thank goodness. So anyway, I am going to start getting ready for my weekend away. But thank you once again for coming and listening to me babble. I really hope that was helpful. I hope you'll be back. And also, if you have any requests at all, let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.